Hey everyone, I'm in Farmer Simulator 22 and here I'm going to show you how to apply seed uh, to your field once it's been cultivated. So how do we do seeding? Um, what we need is a tractor, we need a weight. Hello random lady. Uh, we need a seeder and there are many different ones in the game and you need to seed in your seeder. Now if you start a new farm as a beginner, um, you get some example machinery and this is the example one you get but they work in a similar fashion so I'm just going to show this one just for ease of use. But the tutorial skips one little important thing which I want to point out which is to do with the ridge markers which are these things here um, and I want to explain why they are useful. So anyway, Let's jump in the tractor, attach the stuff, and I'll just show you where you buy this stuff. Maybe we'll do that first, actually. If you hit your uh, screens button, um, and then on this page, if you go down to the different packs, I'm hitting the RB to go to the packs. And if we were interested in grain, for example, if we go to grain, in, in here is an example seed, and that's just the one that we've got. And you can see here, down below, it shows you the different sorts of seed that you can apply to this. So you can buy packs of seeds um, from the uh, shop, um, so I think it's in here somewhere. Let's have a little look. Uh, well, we got seeds. There we go. So there's some seeds there, um, and uh, we'll probably find some other ones along here. What happens if what else have we got? We got pig food, oats. What's that? Wheat. Let's have a little look at the seeds. Does it say anything about? Not really. Um, so yeah, you can buy different ones there. Um, fertilizer which I'll cover in something separate um, but yeah there we go so that's where you can get all your seeds from but let's jump in uh, because our seeder is already loaded in this example so X to jump into the tractor uh, and then we need to attach these to it so it's A to attach so the first thing it's attaching is the weight the weight is important for the tractor to kind of keep the wheels pushed down when you're using machinery so it's good to have that and then we also, one thing I want to point out there to attach the weight, you see it's got like this a different shape. The front of it is flatter than the back. The back's kind of like a U shape. You want that U pointing towards the tractor, otherwise you can't attach it. So if you've gone to the shop and you're trying to attach it and it's not working, make sure it's that way around. Um, then we're going to attach the uh, cedar to the back, like so. So we're good. Uh, we need a cultivated field, which we have. So all is well. So then you can switch between the tools um, using Y. So just above the controls, just to the top right of the controls, you see there's a little icon with a tractor and a white highlighted box behind the tractor. That means we've got the cedar um, as our main tool at the minute. If that's not activated and you've got the front one activated like there, just hit the Y until you've got the back and then your LB will have all of these different options for the cedar. So there's different things you can do. If the seeder is fully loaded, it can have all sorts of different seeds in it. So at the minute it's selected seeded wheat. So I can hit Y to switch between different seeds. So for example, I could plant canola uh, or whatever ones I want. So this one has got all sorts of stuff loaded onto it, which is cool. Um, you've also got the option for the ridge marker, which is the thing that I said was important. So I'm gonna just talk about that quickly. The ridge marker, you can see it folds that down. I don't want that side, I want that side. Uh, and the, the reason why this is important is it helps you figure out where you've already seeded. And if you line up with this marker, which I'll show you in just a second, it helps you ensure that your seeds aren't covering over the same bit of ground. So it's making you more efficient with the seeder. All right, so we've got that down. And in the tutorial, it doesn't tell you to put that down. So that's quite an important thing to, to point out. We've then got the option to unfold the seeder or fold the seeder. Um, so we can unfold it or fold it, whatever. So let's just... Which way do we want to go? So I've unfolded it. I've actually just put my ridge marker back up. So let's just do that again. Just get that back to here. So that's cool. Um, and then we just need to lower the cedar and turn it on. So B is lower the cedar. There we go. The cedar is lowered. And then we turn on the cedar when we're ready. So I'll just go forward a little bit just so we don't waste too much seed. So down the bottom, you can see how much seed we've got in here. We've got 600 liters just to the bottom where the speedometer is. Uh, and it says we've got 100% seed. Our seed actually seems to run out very reasonably. Um, so when we're here, hold down LB and then turn on the seeder. Then it will rev up and then we just go. So you want to try and keep your tractor straight. Uh, and it's hard to see with this particular one. But can you see there's like a sort of indent being made by the um, ridge marker that we put down? Yeah. And then you just try and chug along here at a reasonable rate. Um, not too fast, not too slow. I've actually hashed this up a bit because I've gone a bit bit too right by lining up. But you get the idea. So really I want to try and keep that straight. But because I'm talking, I've made a bit of a 
bit of an error there. So the more wonky you go, the more this isn't going to be a, a great sort of um, planting. Uh, but I'm going to talk about that as well in a minute. And then when you get to the end here, you want to turn the cedar off. So we just go past, turn the cedar off. So I hold down LB, turn the cedar off with the X. Uh, and then I'm holding down LB and I'm going to lift up that ridge marker. I'm going to put down a new ridge marker in a minute when we turn around. So we'll just turn around. So try not to go over the seeds or other crops that you've got if you can avoid it. So this particular field's quite tight, so it's quite hard to do. So that seed, uh, sorry, that ridge that we made, uh, what you want to do with that is try and line it up with the middle of the tractor. Um, so that tells you that that should line you up. Now this is hard in this sort of uh, view, but what you can do is if you flick, press the right stick down and you can look into the um, tractor itself and then just try and line up. So that's right in the middle of your tractor and that's where you're ideally aiming for like that. And then we're good. And then we should be good. So I'll just flick outside again, just go forward a little bit. And then when we're here, we want to put the ridge marker down the other side this time. So holding down LB, uh, ridge marker, press the up button on the D pad, ridge marker's gone down. Uh, and then I'll look inside the tractor, sorry, I'll turn the cedar on with X inside the tractor to help me line up. And then away we go. So we go again. And then we're doing the next line of seeds as we go. So the right trigger, you could, I suppose you could floor it, but I'm just going at a reasonable rate. I'm not going too fast, not too slow. Um, but you can see it's quite fun applying the seed to the field, uh, seeding away here, and you get this like kind of fun, bumpy effect. Now at any point, you can hire an AI worker. If you're finding this too difficult, uh, you can just hit B, and the AI worker will take over for you. So I'll hit B just to show you that. So now the AI worker is doing it. I've now let go of the controls. And if we uh, right, they press the right button on the D-pad. Uh, sorry, not the oh, gone out there. Hang on. Sorry, I press the right stick down just so we can see them from the external. You'll see how they line up. Now the AI worker doesn't need the ridge marker because they're just that good. So they'll just drive away without that. Um, but you'll see that they'll line things up nicely and just finish the job for you and seed your field. And that's it really. There's not much else to it. One thing we didn't cover here, which I'll do in a separate video, is you should also fertilize. So I've just hit X to jump out the tractor there. Um, but if we look at the field here, um, we can see now it says crop type is canola and the growth is growing, but it says fertilize 0%, weed 0%. So to increase the yield of your crop, uh, you should fertilize the field. Um, you can actually apply fertilizer before we do the sowing of the seed, um, but you've got to do it uh, two, I think it's two times, it might be three times. Um, to get the field fertilized to increase the the uh, yield so as you harvest it you'll get more seed out of the field by doing that um, so that's it really i hope that was useful to you if you want to keep up to date with farming simulator 22 i'm adding new content all the time so please subscribe and then you'll be kept up to date with my latest videos um, I'm obviously covering the basics of the game at the minute but i'll get more and more impressive with my tutorials as time goes over but i've got lots of stuff on there here already um, so if you like what you see, please subscribe. Any comments, welcome. Did I miss anything about applying seed to the field? If I did, let me know. Um, hopefully I've done that all all right. The other thing you will need to do from time to time is weed, which again, I will also cover in a separate tutorial uh, and apply lime to fields if you've got that activated. Um, but I was just showing you the principles between uh, seeding. Um, if you want to do more complicated seeds, just to finish off, just while I remember, if we hit the screens icon, there are all sorts of more impressive cedars that you can get here. So if you go into the tools, cedars here, you can see that's really the cheapest one that we've got and it's only got a three meter width. Um, so some are wider than this. So you can see this far more impressive ones like these big beasts over here that can do all sorts of magical stuff as well, but we're getting much bigger 15 meters. So the bigger the field, the, the bigger the possibility you may wanna have a more impressive cedar than the one that we've got here. Uh, and then you've also got to load them up with seed like we were talking about right at the start of the video. That's it really. Uh, and yeah, anything else, let me know. But thumbs up, much appreciated. Please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.